it's Angela Prophet, and you are tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning for Wedding and Event Planners. This week's tip is always, always know where to find a generator and always have a backup plan. So here's the situation. I had a wedding, not an outdoor wedding, an indoor wedding at a very well-known church in town. And we had a really bad storm the night before, and I knew we had a really bad storm because I could hardly sleep. But it didn't even occur to me that power lines would go falling down and completely cut off all of the power to the church. Didn't even dawn on me. So that morning, I received a phone call from the venue contact, and again, thank God she called me and not the client, and said, I I have some really bad news, and I really don't know what to do. So we have no power, the power line fell, I've already contacted the local electricity company. They know we have a wedding starting this afternoon. I don't know what to do. It's summer, it's hot, and we have no air. So I was calling around town, and thankfully I was able to find a generator. But typically when things like this happen and everybody in town has no electricity, you have all these people trying to find a generator for multiple events happening in a large city. So again, thankfully I was able to find one. Unfortunately, I had to pay for it. I didn't have a credit card on file, but at that point, I didn't care. I just wanted the generator to get there. I wanted to make sure that we had air condition, which we didn't have air condition. I had to get fans. I wanted to make sure that we had lighting because even though it was during the day, the church was really, really dark, and it was really important to the bride that we had up lighting during the ceremony. So again, I'm working in the background to make sure that everything is happening without anyone knowing. And so when the bridesmaids got there and the bride got there, it was a little bit warm and they mentioned it a few times and I thought, oh, you're just nervous. And I said, don't worry, it'll be okay. I did not want her to know what all had happened in the background. And so the wedding happened, everything went off without a hitch. Guests were a little uncomfortable, they were a little hot. We had bottled water on hand. Again, that looked kind of normal since it was summertime. What I learned from this situation and what my takeaway was is to always have a backup plan in place, but to also always have a credit card on file and talk with your client and make sure that if anything does happen that's unexpected, that that you have their blessing to use their credit card because it was unfortunately a pretty large expense. But after the wedding happened and everything went off without a hitch, a few days later, of course, I talked with the mother of the bride and told her what had happened. And she was extremely grateful that I fixed the situation and I did not bother them or stress them out on the day of the wedding. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment. And if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.